five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft. On the heels of the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11's return from the moon, we send more science and supplies up to the International Space Station. Small flight operation. Stage one propulsion is nominal. And there's the cape getting smaller and smaller. Down they go. Nico. There it is. Stage separation confirmed. And there goes the booster, which is coming back to land here at the Cape. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there it is. Great shot of that booster coming off as it performs the boost back burn. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. See the grid fins being deployed? Let's help steer, steer the, uh, the booster back down to Earth. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. You just heard the call out for the stage one entry burn. That'll go for about 10 to 15 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. <laughs> and you can hear the landing burn just started. There you heard the call out. Watch those landing legs deploy coming up shortly. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. There you can see those landing legs deploy. And touchdown of the Falcon 9 in our landing zone Falcon 1 in Cape Canaveral. Canaveral. Orbital insertion. We just had secondary engine cut off. Uh, there you can see it. Dragon separation confirmed. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. You can hear the cheers behind me. This is Dragon me. CC on countdown one. Dragon right. senses separation. Off Dragon goes Thanks for, for its ride. mission to the International Space Station. Uh, the, the Dragon team doing a little handoff with Falcon there. This is Dragon CC on countdown one. Dragon is deploying its solar arrays. And we've heard the call out. You see the expansion there. We've successfully begun to deploy our solar color panel arrays, which will occur over the next couple of minutes.
and we have confirmation that Dragon is attached to the International Space Station's common birthing mechanism on the Harmony module that occurred at 11.01 a.m. Central Time as Space Station was flying over the southwestern Pacific Ocean.